This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. All right, well, good morning. And um, so something kind of summer related, um, you know, summertime, kids are out, uh, kids get hurt, lacerations, uh, extremity injuries. So, you know, when we're trying to provide, you know, sedation or analgesia to kids, you know, sometimes we put an IV in and, you know, if we really need to give them medication, we could do it that way. But another good option is intranasal. So I was going to talk for just a sec about some things about intranasal. So, you know, it's... uh, great, quick, uh, theoretically painless option to give medications to kids. You know, there's a couple things that we typically would use, something like Versed or Midazolam, fentanyl, or even ketamine can all be used uh, intranasally. The doses are definitely different than the IV doses. They're frequently things we have to you know, look up. We don't do it all the time, but they're a lot of times about twice what we would use for an IV. So if you see a pretty big dose, don't be surprised. Uh, it takes a fair amount of medications. In terms of actually giving it, uh, you know, you can just use a syringe, kind of drip it in slowly. Uh, but I think we you know that the atomizers work a lot better. They make these tiny little droplets that are better absorbed and better tolerated. Um, so using an atomizer is a very good way to do it. The direction of, you know, where you point it is kind of important uh, when you're actually in putting the medication in. You don't just want to point the syringe kind of straight up towards, you know, the ceiling, um, then it just kind of stays in the front of the nose and doesn't get absorbed very well. Um, so they talk about either pointing, directing the uh, syringe towards the eye on the same side. So that kind of points it back a little bit. Or some people even say towards the occiput, towards the back of the skull um, to kind of get into the areas of the nose that absorb it better. Uh, in terms of how much liquid you can give is another important thing. Usually you can only give up to about one ml in each nostril. If you're doing that much or even more than that, it's not going to get absorbed. It's just going to drip out. Also, the timing is going to be a little slower than uh, when you give medications IV, but um, it does take effect a little bit slower. And then, you know, so as long as you're patient, uh, you can get good effect. So sometimes you can use it as like an initial medication. Um, then the kid can chill out, get some initial pain relief. And if you really need an IV after that, then they're kind of tolerate the IV better. Uh, but it's a great first option. So, you know, let's kind of remember that if we have a kid who's, you know, in a lot of pain or, you know, anxiety about an injury, uh, it's a good thing to use. Any questions, comments? Thanks, everybody. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.